Hello? Hello? Hey, come on in. I got to finish getting changed, Cat. Huh? I got to finish getting changed, Cat. Well, I'll watch it. Just wait at the bar for a second. I got to get all my makeup on. Hey, how are you? Could you do me a favor and have a seat right over there on that stool, please? Yeah. What's going on? Nothing was. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Fine. Good, please have a seat. Mm -hmm. What are you up to today? Come on, Scott, come over and. Please have a seat. Come on. <clears throat> Who asked you to come over exactly? Hmm? Who asked you to come over? Destiny. Destiny. And how did you meet Destiny? Hmm? How did you meet Destiny? On the computer, she said hi and stuff. She said hi and stuff. <laughs> and, and who, do me a favor and just keep your hands out of your No, phone. fine. Yeah. <clears throat> who approached who first? She did, I think, yeah. She approached you? Mm -hmm. And what did she say? She said hi and everything and such and such and want you to come over? I said, no, I don't want to. And so I said, well, I'll just come over and say hi, and that was it. So I told her yesterday, I said, you know, didn't want anything, just Did, come over and say hi. Didn't want anything, just come over and say hi. Just come over and say hi, and she said, well, can we, can we do something? I said, well, I'm not sure I really want to, you know. You're not sure you really want to do anything? No. Do me a favor, though, just keep your hands up. I'm sorry. And how old is uh, Destiny? I'm uh, not sure. You're not sure? No. 16, 17, 18. 16, 17, 18. Mm -hmm. And how old are you? 47. 47. Mm -hmm. There was no intent on anything. I just No remember. intent whatsoever? No, on my part there wasn't, no sir. Yeah. And what's your name? Kevin. Kevin. And Kevin, where do you live? In New Lebanon. In New Lebanon. Mm-hmm. The problem is that destiny is not 16, 17, or 18. Okay. And she told you that. Mm-hmm. So do you want to start the story again? I don't really remember the whole thing. I just... Why don't you try to remember it for me? I remember that she said her grandma was gone or something, and I was going to go home, and... She kept calling and said, please come over, please come over. I said, well, I'll come over just a little bit, and I'm going home. And that's it. And what did you talk about online with Destiny? Well, she did what I did. Like what? I don't remember the conversations. Did you talk about sex? She didn't know speaking. She said, can we take a shower together? And... Nothing went wrong. Not, I didn't say it or anything. When did you start talking to her? Gosh, I don't remember. A few days ago or something like that. A few like days that. ago. Last week or something. And what do you do for a living? Work at Wright Pat. What do you do at Wright Pat? Finance. In finance. Mm -hmm. Now, the only problem with your story is. Mm -hmm that I have the transcript of your conversation. Mm -hmm. So I know exactly what you said to her mm -hmm. and when you said it. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just tell me the truth right now, what you had in mind. I did not have any sex in mind. I'm honestly. I did not. You talked about sex with her online. We may have, but I had no intention, sir. I had no intention. Did you send her any pictures? I had a picture online of me and a bird or something, head on my shoulder, that's it. Just you and a bird? Yeah. Alright, I want you to stay right there for just one second there. Okay.
So that's the picture you sent? Yeah, that's the one I have. <laughs> and you said your name is Kevin? Mm -hmm. And your last name, Kevin, is what? Westerbeck. Westerbeck. Now, Kevin, you've had some contact with the law before. That's correct. Tell me about that. Um, I'm currently on a, with Montgomery County case. And what kind of what kind of a case is that? Um, this child uh, it was a child. Uh, I forget what it is. Child solicitation. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, in Fairborn. In Fairborn. Yeah. And why don't you tell me what you did, Kevin? I didn't do anything. What were you accused of doing? Mm, importuning or something like that. Importuning. Well, you tell it to me in uh, in regular terms. What did they say you did? They said I came out to meet some girl, I guess. So let me get this straight. You were accused of doing the very same thing that you're out doing tonight. I had no intention of this. All right, let's go back to the other case for a minute. You pleaded guilty yes. to solicitation of a minor for sex. It was a plea. It was a plea. You, right. you pleaded guilty. Correct. And you got sentenced for that plea, correct? That's correct. Eleven months. Correct. In fact, next week, on Thursday, you have to go to court. Correct. And they're going to decide whether or not you're going to become a registered sex offender. Yes. And then you're going I, to go to prison. Correct. What then are you doing in this house? less than a week before you're supposed to be in court and go to prison for doing the very same thing. Stupidity, because I didn't expect this to be any, be like that. So what, it's my fault? No, it's not your fault. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. And I said, I didn't want to come over, and she said, please, please, well, oh, well, go and say hi, she goes, and, and go home. That's, that's all I was going to do. I was going home the first time she called. You're going home. Yep. Turn around and went home. Now, I have the transcript of your online conversation with Destiny. Mm -hmm. And I guess you're uh, Change for the Better 2006? Mm -hmm. That's you, right? Mm -hmm. That's your screen name? Correct. Okay. She says, 13 female, Ohio. You, 27 male, Dayton. You're not 27, are you? No. But you said you were. Right. So that was a lot. Yeah, email crap. Or not. Huh? Chat crap. You know, it's a lie. It's either the truth or it's a lie. Mm -hmm. So it's a lie, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You talk about what you do at the Air Force Base at Wright Patterson. You work in finance. <clears throat> she says, I like kissing. You say, Would you get naked? I just don't want to get cold, she says. You say, have sex? Now, a moment ago, you told me this wasn't a sexually oriented conversation. That was a lie, too, wasn't it? I was just talking. Just talking. Yeah, how that it would be fun, then, okay? You say, then, I'm big. She says, really? Yeah, how? Then you give the dimension of your penis. Just That's not sexual? Just BS talk. Just BS talk. To me it was. Okay, it so that BS happened. talk got you sentenced to prison once already. And less than a week before you're supposed to go to court and prison, you are here in this house trying to meet a 13-year-old girl home alone. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm weak. I'm, it's just... I'm just 
I have no intentions of having sex with her. Yeah. How know. can you say that? That's what it says, but I didn't. Why should I believe that? Because I'm telling you the truth. You didn't tell me the truth uh, when you answered the first six questions I asked. You lied then. I don't remember what the whole conversations were. I'm being honest. You don't remember what our conversation was when you first came in? When I asked you how old the girl was and you said 16, 17, 18, when you knew that she said she was 13? I don't remember that part, sir. Well, you want me to show it to you? I believe Here, you. Must see it? If you have the transcript, there I you go. you, sir. What is, that, what is that number right there? Right there. What does that say? It's 13. 13. Okay. Partner. This kind of makes you a repeat offender, doesn't it? doesn't. Did you bring condoms with you tonight? No, I didn't plan on having sex. Well, come on. What did you plan on doing? I was just going to plan on meeting her, say hi, how you doing, and that's hi, how it. how you doing, and that's and it. That's it. So, less than a week before you're supposed to go to court, where you're probably going to be designated a Registered sex Registered. offender, yes. and then you're going to go to prison That's correct. for 11 months That's correct. after pleading guilty to solicitation of a child for sex, you just figured, oh, I'm just going to pop in and have a nice little conversation with a 13-year-old girl. That's your story? That is my story, sir. That is my story. It sounds like fiction. I'm telling you the truth. Do you have anything out in your vehicle? Such as? Alcohol? No. Mm -mm. I don't drink. Did you bring any for the girl? Nope. You ask, you're not a cop, nothing personal, but I watch out. Why were you asking if she was a cop? Because of the last time. Because of the last time? Yes. And where did the other crime occur? Fairborn? Fairborn, Ohio. Correct. And how did you get caught on that deal? How did you get caught on that deal? Explain the circumstances, please. Just on the, the uh, internet. And that one was for intent, but this one isn't. Why, how, how can you possibly expect me to believe that? Because I'm sitting here telling you the truth. Yeah, I, know, I, didn't, you... I didn't bring any alcohol, I didn't bring any condoms, I didn't bring nothing, or anything like that. So, What's in the black bag that's out in your car? It's my briefcase. Your briefcase? Correct. And what's in it? Uh, date timekeeper, um, just my keys, or my keys, um, just stuff. Someone's going to look at it before too long, so you... You might want to think about not lying to me again as you did. Before. There's nothing. There's just my date time keeper, my Bible. Your Bible? Yes. You're a religious fellow, are you? Yes, I am. What makes you so religious? Because I have a faith in God. And didn't your faith in God suggest to you that you shouldn't come over here to hang out with a 13 year old girl after That's a sexually charged conversation on the internet? That's why I turned around the first time and then she called me. I thought, well,. I'll just go over there, say hi, and be done with it, and go on home. Doesn't the fact that you've already pleaded guilty to a similar crime 
and then you have another sexually charged conversation with someone who says they're 13, and then show up here tonight, indicate that maybe you've got a problem? No, because tonight was different. Tonight was different. And why was tonight different from the time where you did this and then pleaded guilty and the judge sentenced you to 11 months in prison? Because that time there was intent. There was intent there. I admit there was intent there, and I've told him all that, yes. So you just kind of come over for Bible study with this girl tonight? No, there was no Bible study. Imagine I just came over and say hi. That's it. Nothing to it more than that. Uh, yeah. So, Kevin. Yes. Come on. I'm telling you the truth. You're how old? Forty-seven. Forty-seven. And you're just going to come over and hang out with a thirteen-year-old girl. That's. I wasn't going to hang out all night long. Do you think you have a problem with the internet and these kind of chats? Do you have an addiction, a compulsion? Help me to understand why you would do something like this. I don't know why. I just. I felt like I needed to talk to somebody, and, and she was friendly, and that, that's all there was to it. And, so you don't have any buddies you can chat with? Or? No, not really. No adults you can chat with? Well, my parents and stuff, yeah. Are you married? No, I'm not. Do you have kids? No, I do not. Nieces and nephews? I have nieces, but they're in college. Would you be comfortable if you had a 13-year-old niece and a, and a man walked into her home when she was alone to hang out? Uh, that's why I asked you from again. I said, that doesn't make sense that your grandma would leave you there and go to Vegas by yourself. She goes, oh, that's cool. You know, they, she trusts me and all that kind of crap. No, no, no. You ask her if she's feeling frisky. Yeah, yes, a little. Because that's the way she was talking. I was just asking her about that. You're cute. You ever watch uh, television, Kevin? I don't watch very much television. You ever see Dateline NBC? Mm, well, I, I know of it, yeah. Yeah. Do you ever see any of our stories on computer predators? I'm familiar with them. You are? Yes. Yes. Well, this is one of them. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC, and mm -hmm. we're doing a story mm -hmm. on adults who try to meet teens on the Internet. Mm -hmm. And if you have anything else you'd like to tell us, We'd like to hear it. No. If not, if not, you're free to go. Okay. Go ahead and follow this oh. gentleman here. You have the right to make a silent. Anything you say can't be held against you for a law. Go ahead. You understand that? Mm -hmm. You have the right to talk to your lawyer and have him present with you or being questioned. You understand that? Yes. If you cannot afford a higher lawyer, won't be appointed to represent you for any questioning. If you wish. You understand that? Yes. If you decide any time to exercise these rights, not making any nights or any questions or making any statements. You understand that? Yes. Okay. Where's his keys at? I don't know. Where, Where are your keys at? Coke? Yes. Go put those keys on his carts, not the white vets, the other one. Alright, good step up. Let's move it. Any kind of drugs here, look at their car. Any of you will or stick me? Yeah. 
his legs out. Search him, I'll be back. Is that pocket? Wall's back in the pocket. Okay. Do you have a cell phone on you? Uh, no, in my car. It's in your car? Okay. Come back here. Did you tell anybody that you were coming here today? Anybody that you know, did you call and tell them, hey, you know what, I'm going up to Dark yeah. County, I'm going to meet a female, I'm going for a drive. Anybody know that you're missing right now? No. Who do you live with? By myself. By yourself? Mm -hmm. Who's your best friend? I really don't have a best friend. Okay. Who's the closest friend that you got that you'd call and tell, hey, I'm, I'm taking off? Did you call him? No, I didn't call anybody to him. I was moving crap all day to my parents' house and back, and I was tired. And I got down to check email, and she was asking, hey, how you doing? And I said, fine, what's going on? I said, I'm tired, and I'm moving all day. <coughs> Please, I really want to see you. And I said, no, 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 no. And then he was talking me into it. Okay. So I was going for a little bit. That's it. I'm too tired. You have anything you need to ask him? Yes. Do you know your license plate number on the vehicle you drove mm -hmm. up here with? No, I don't. No? All right. Um, have you ever been married? Yes. Are you currently married? No. Divorced? Correct. <coughs> so this is this permission to search form. Basically the search form is for your computer and your cell phone uh, in your 1996 Chevy Corsica. Uh, what I'm asking is that it's okay that we get into your cell phone like you had already previously said that was all right. You stated that you didn't have a computer, but you know you know that we're going to inventory the car. We want you to give us permission to search the car, which search and inventory are pretty much the same thing. Okay, but what we're trying to get here is this, and also the possibility of searching and seizing your computer that you have at your residence. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to give you the opportunity to sign this waiver. When we get to the sheriff's office, we take the handcuffs off and everything like that. Is it okay if we check your stuff? Yes, it is. Do you have any child pornography on your computer that I'm going to find? No. Okay, you're sure of that, right? Yes. Okay. Is there any other 13-year-old female's telephone numbers on the cell phone that you have up here? No. <clears throat> is there any pornographic material or anything of, you know, criminal nature in your vehicle? Drugs, knives, guns, bombs, no. sexual... Anything? No. Do you have any toys with you tonight? No. Did you bring any vibrators? No. Anything like this? No. Did you bring condoms? No. Okay. I don't want to go back and find that you have this stuff and then we have to get you back out and talk about it. No. I'd much rather do it here, be done. No. Okay? I don't have any of that. When we get back to the jail, we'll get you on handcuffed. I'll have you sign this form. You understand? Yes. Is there anything that you want to tell me or say about the situation tonight that we haven't already discussed that you want to get on your side in my report? I'll say i got to go back and i got to type a narrative report. Anything you want to tell me? Well, uh, probably stupid from coming out here. I should have just went on home until after she called me back and plead and begged me to come back. Please, please. And so I just didn't have anything else to do. So I just came over. That's all I did. That's all it was. The intent was. Okay. I didn't anything do else? Nothing with me. Nothing. Uh, just hey, how you doing? You know. I'll see you later. You know, I'm going to jail. And, three days. That was it. Not one for the road? No. You understand what I'm, uh, I mean by I that? I know exactly what you're saying. I know exactly what you're saying. And that was not my intent. I learned my lesson the first time. Obviously not. No. Right? Obviously not. Well, I wasn't coming You're chatting with the 13-year-old female about your penis size on the internet and 
You drove about, what, an hour and a half to get here from New Lebanon to meet a 13-year-old female in the middle of the night who you knew by looking at the chats her parents weren't home. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. So you can't tell me you learned your lesson the last time because if you did, you wouldn't put yourself in this situation. Well, a drug, drug addict doesn't go back and put a mound of cocaine in front of them and say, I'm not going to snort cocaine. Mm -hmm. Well, I wasn't going to have any okay. sexual contact with anyone with her. Okay. That's the okay. difference. That's your story, and you can stick to that. I have a lot of evidence to prove that you were going to, you know, that you at least made an attempt to come up here and have sex with the minor. Do you understand that? I came up here to see her and say hi and not to have sex. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Mm -mm. All right. Deal, though. I need you to make the top. Oh, I did actually. I stand right there. I don't want to take a picture. I don't know what to do without you. Go ahead and step back towards the wall. Stand against the wall. Do you normally wear glasses? For reading. For reading? Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at the camera. And set your shoes down right there in front of the skin. Yeah. 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 Uh, turn your whole body. Probably about the best thing for right now. I'll make time to do a lot of support. Alright, we'll keep checking. Make sure you're alright. Okay, now the other way. You got any scars, marks, or tattoos? My left ankle. Okay, can you go ahead and. Turn and show me your left ankle there. I need a picture of that. Is that the only one? Go ahead and have a seat in your chair, please. Go ahead and have a seat right there. Scoot that chair back against that wall in front of you, if you would. Okay, what's your, la what's your middle name? Thomas. Thomas? Are you a junior or anything? No. Okay. What's your mother's maiden name? Wheeler. Wheeler? Whaler, W-O-E-H-L-E-R. And your Soch? 296-4485-71. Seven one. Your date of birth? 3659. Where are you born at? Lima, Ohio. What's your address right now? 435. Lufkin Drive, L-U-F-K-I-N Drive. Where's that at? New Lebanon. You have a home phone number? 687-7192, correct? Okay. School you attended? Sinclair. Sinclair. Yeah. Were you in the military? No, sir. You claim church or religion? Catholic. What do you do as far as the financing? Are you, are you like a accountant or something? Do you Budget. Budget person. Yeah. Okay. Time in on Westerbeck. 
W-E-S-T-E-R-D-E-C-K. W-E-S-T-E-R-D-E-C-K. All right. Those. Uh, any dental problems? No. You suffer from withdrawals? Uh, well, I'm currently being treated for a depression. Okay, but you don't suffer from withdrawals from alcohol or anything? Oh, no, not from alcohol. No. Okay. Um, any diabetes? No. Epilepsy? No. Fainting spells? No. Doctor prescribed diet? No. Urinary tract problems? No. Ulcers? No. Venereal disease? No. You ever tested positive for AIDS, TB, or hepatitis? No. Any type of heart, high blood pressure problems? No. Mental health problems? Depression. Depression? Depression, anxiety, and panic attacks. So I'm currently on the medication for them. Do you feel depressed or suicidal right now? No. You know, when you don't hurt yourself? No. What kind of medications are you on? Axel, 60 milligrams once a day. Clonopin. What is it? Clonopin. Can you spell that? C L O N O P A N. Okay. And that's uh, 0.5 milligrams three times a day. Okay. And also Wellbutrin. Wellbutrin? Uh -huh. It's 150 milligrams a day. 150? Correct. And how many times? Once a day. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Who prescribed that medication? My doctor. What's his name or her name? Dr. Jeffrey Lysering. I'm going to go ahead and add your uh, ID on there, okay? Right there, we're going to grab your coat. I'm going to step right in this room in here. Step right over this officer, he's going to take your fingerprints, all right? Okay, and square it. I'm going to show you here. Square it. Let me do that time. Let me... Who brought you in, who patted you down, who booked you, the time you came in, all that, okay? On the back here, it shows the charge that you're being brought on. It's listed as two, it's actually one. It's attempted unlawful, unlawful sexual conduct with a minor, okay? All this says is you don't follow the rules while you stay here. It's not an admission of guilt. I just need you to sign right there. Okay, this one right here, this all your property you came in with. You had $15. Yeah, blue. All right, this one right here is everything I'm going to issue you right here. All this says you're not going to damage any of this property. If you do, I can criminally charge you. You can sign right there. Okay, this one right here just states you have medical insurance. So in case some. Okay, you have the opportunity now to use the phone, call your parents, family, friends, attorney, whoever needs to call. You can go ahead and call right now. Okay? It is a collect call. Okay. So go ahead and go ahead and give them a call.
she'll pick up and then it'll go dead for a little bit and then she'll come back home. Oh. If it just went dead, so it's not so long, she'll come back home. Yeah, answer machine. Yeah. You want to try to call somebody else? Officers want to take you over to where you're sleeping tonight. Right? Uh, those here's everything tomorrow, right? Yeah, they'll, they'll try to get everybody in tomorrow. Since he was caught in our investigation, he has spent a lot of time in court. Just four days after the sting, he went before a judge in the first case involving the solicitation charge to determine his status as a sex offender. I'm going to review Exhibit 3 before I rule on this one. The judge was informed that Westerbeck was caught in our sting. I am required in this hearing to make a determination as to whether or not I believe, based upon the facts presented, the defendant will commit future sex offenses. In this case, you've made it very clear, Mr. Westerbeck, as to uh, uh, whether or not you'll commit future offenses. This court will make a finding, and I make this finding beyond a reasonable doubt, that you are likely to commit future crimes based upon the evidence before the court today. With that determination, the court will make a finding that you are a sexual predator. And last week, he pleaded guilty to raping the young family relative, a child under the age of 13. Yeah. Westerbeck, like all the other men caught in our investigation, will appear before a judge to answer the charge of attempted unlawful sexual conduct with a minor here in Dark County, Ohio. And the repeat offender. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm weak. I'm, this is, uh, I have no intentions of having sex with her. In respect to the courts, I'd ask for an OR because I'm going to jail on Thursday anyway. I think I'll ensure that you make it back to Judge Wolliver's court in Springfield. I'll set bail on 100000 cash sure to your property. For many of these men, the trip from chatting about sex online to shuffling through the criminal justice system has been a long one. A lot of thinking and planning goes into 